For 133 years, a bronze statue of William Crowther has stood tall in Hobart's Franklin Square. It's a site that has long been uncomfortable for many. That statue um, not only glorifies a man who was responsible for such racist and barbaric actions, um, but it also signifies to us just how hard we've had to fight here in Tasmania. Crowther was Tasmania's premier for a year, from 1878 to 79, and the statue was erected a decade later for what was described at the time as his political and professional service to the colony. He was also a surgeon, and in 1868 he broke into a morgue which was storing the body of Aboriginal man William Lanny. Crowther stole his skull and sent it to the Royal College of Surgeons in London. He did this in an attempt to perpetuate the racist myth that Tasmanian Aborigines no longer existed in this state. Lanny was exiled to Flinders Island as a child. He later worked as a whaler near Nipaluna, Hobart and died in 1868 when he was 34. Lanny's remains were returned to country in the 1990s. And last night, the city of Hobart voted 7 to 4 in favour of removing Crowther's statue. It is a step towards reconciliation with the Tasmanian Aboriginal community who have said for many years that this statue and what it represents should not be in such a premier place. The council will discuss the statue's future with the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery.